What's up guys, it's Jules. Time for another stitch with me and I just realized I left this part out so that it almost poked me right in the eyeball. We're gonna do some Ronnie Row today. Woo! Woo! Of course I'm not quite 100% ready to get going. So all we're using is 310 and we got some fabric. We got a uh, hoop. I got some scissors, and I got a couple needles somewhere. There it is. There's one. Um, I gotta tell you, when we finally replaced the carpet down in the, uh, I'm gonna take my headphones off. I guess I don't need those anymore. Um, when we replace the carpet one day downstairs, it is gonna be a dangerous proposition for whoever is ripping up that carpet, because I would bet you that there is going to be a fair number of needles down in said carpet. Now purpose per se look at the little um i think one of you crazy people got this for me or maybe it was mark my husband but uh, a little honeycomb with a little honeybee but the nice thing about it is it's not really does well it is and it isn't it's a um needle thingy needle holder i suddenly can't remember what i was talking what, what i was uh what these are called they're needle bobbers uh, anyway, but they work great for just literally just holding on to spare needles. And uh, so thankfully, another reason to be thankful for my husband, because he found a bunch of my needles. Well, I don't know if he found them or he just found them on the back of this, but he salvaged them for me. I was just getting ready to come upstairs to start working on this video, and I stepped on two needles back to back like I stepped on a needle picked it out of the carpet then went to leave again stepped on another needle picked it out of the carpet I'm starting to bend my needles which is really not cool it's not cool at all so <sighs> it's all my fault just being crazy hello birds hello birds how are you today how are you today? Yes, I am talking to you. Yeah, yeah, you are good looking. Look at you. Well, you're welcome. All right. So I got this. I got my glasses because Josh knows I need my glasses more and more and more and more and more. Whoops. I got smudges on my glasses. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. I know I was supposed to put out the video about the floss organization yesterday, but I got to tell you. My week has been crazy, and I have been ridiculously busy, and uh, I just didn't feel like getting it done. I had zero motivation last night when I finally got home. I think I was like 10 straight crazy hours, and I was done. And uh, cra we we kind of been changing some things up at work, and we had uh, we'd gone and what did I do with those scissors? There they are. Um, and I changed the schedule up a little bit so that actually instead of taking like we used to take off like a decently long lunch and it's just wasted time. I mean, all I do is, you know, I'll drive home, I'll eat, uh, play a little bit on the computer, maybe run a few errands, you know, but it's just, I feel like it's just wasted time because I'm not, I don't know, I just, it's just wasted time. And uh, so we opened up more hours. So I have about an hour and a half more time to see clients but I I was thinking well you know what it'll keep me at work during lunch it'll help me to kind of organize and focus and what I've found out this week this was the first week we did it so far what it has done is just basically given me even more ways to overwhelm myself and uh, so I'll get caught up it'll be it'll get slower here but but as a result, Thursday was not a very productive day because I got home, and, or I didn't get home, I stayed home. And I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like doing anything. And uh, that's about it. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what where I'm at on here. Where am I? I need a haircut is where I am. I'm telling you about that. I got to get me a haircut. So there's that, there's that, and there's that. And then technically we're on this, but if we're on this, that means, okay. So basically I have to stitch everything in this, in this square or this 
whatever grid and this grid except for like that stitch so we'll work on that while we talk but how are you guys doing are you stitching so many of you guys are getting big projects and haids and haids are for those of you the uninitiated ah the uninitiated haids are heaven and earth design and they are beautiful pieces i have a few i haven't gotten very far with my few so, but I've been getting, you guys have been sending me info. It's been awesome. And um, I've got to sit down tonight and do a bunch of answering comments and such. Um, these birds are talky talky. So I need to get a bigger aquarium for the orange fish. Um, my plan originally, well, I didn't really have a plan as normal for the norm. I didn't really have much of a plan, but what happened was I bought three, three blood orange parrot fish. And these guys are like super blood red orange. And they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of, um, I don't know. You, it, go on my aquarium channel and check it out. I have an aquarium channel if you didn't know. Birds! Stop holding a conversation! Attention! Attention! Settle down! Yeah, like the birds will listen to me. Um, but, uh... So... What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh, the aquarium. I'm gonna cover you guys up. I can't think. Alright, hold on a second, guys. All right, I'm back. Birds, I covered up the birds because I couldn't think, couldn't think to talk. And while it was up, I went ahead and refilled the water in the humidifier for Carter the gecko. So now he's getting moisturized. I should do a video of him just getting moisturized. I think that that would be compelling video watching, but not on this channel, on the um, my uh, house is a zoo channel, or our house is a zoo channel. The house is a zoo. The house is a zoo channel. Not just the zoo zoo, but the house is a zoo. So anyway, um, so the funny thing was, is as soon as I paused the camera and actually went to get up and stopped talking, the birds immediately got quiet. And, uh, of course, like they always do. And then I'm like, well, maybe I shouldn't cover you. But then I was like, no, I gotta cover you. So, anyway, so the plan with, or the lack of plan with the fish... So I had a local pet store, local fish store. Holy crap. What are you doing? Mercury has seemed to have finally realized that there are birds in this room. Right in front of me. Was that a mistake? Yeah, you don't really care, do you? Wow, he like walked over and he looked up and he just kind of like froze for a solid like 15 seconds. And I was thinking, what's he going to do? And the birds got real quiet because they're no dummies. And uh, and then he just turned around and walked away. I think because he's like, ooh, lunch. But then he's like, mm. He's enjoying my company is what he's doing. He's now laying down next to my chair. He likes it when I stitch up here. He does like the company. Anyway, let's go back to the fish. Fish first. Um, so we, uh, what was I saying? So there wasn't really a plan. I, I honestly didn't do any research into this fish before I bought it. And I bought one of them. And I was like, wow, they're so pretty. Um, and he was only like about the size, maybe about two inches, maybe two and a half inches like in diameter. Or like on the side, like the side diameter. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, I was like, well, I went back to the store and they had in a couple more. And I was like, oh, wow, that'd be cool. I should get I should get a couple more and put them all in the tank. So this is why, ladies and gentlemen, kids, boys and girls, you should do your research. Because I went ahead and got all three. And I got all three. Mercury, you should go over and sit down next to the birdcage again. He's not inclined to do that. Um, so uh, I brought them home. And they were all pretty good with each other when they were first all put in the tank together. But then after about, gosh, I don't know, because I've had them for now like a year and a half, I think. Um, after I had them in there for maybe three or four months, 
uh, they were, I noticed that at least there was a big one that was picking on a littler one. I couldn't quite figure out the dynamic, but I think that the two bigger ones were male, and then there was a female. And the female would lay eggs on occasion, and the, the male, theoretical mate male, would guard those eggs and just chase the other um, King Kong parrotfish like all around the tank and harass them and constantly badger them. And that, that fish was like always in the corner because of that. And I felt bad and I was like, you know what, I'm going to move him out of the tank and uh, I'll, I'll get him out and he'll, he'll be okay. Because I had other fish in the tank with him because they weren't, again, they weren't very big. So I moved one of them into uh, like a 30 gallon, I think it's a 30 gallon tank. And I left the other two in there. Well, as time passed, basically, then that other one, that other, the bully, started picking on the other fish in the tank and chasing them around and trying to kill them and doing stuff to them. So I'm like, you jerks. And basically, there was one day where the other thing that he does that makes me mad at him was when I would try to clean the tank, he would actually attack me as I clean the tank. He would literally come over and just like, just try to hit me with his mouth because he can't really close his mouth because blood, um, Parrotfish, uh, what do you call them? King Kong parrotfish. Like they're they're the way that they're bred is that their mouths are like always like this, like it's always open. They can't actually close them, so they're always like that. So he just comes over and just hits me, but it scares me and it doesn't feel great. And I'm like, dude, it's my tank, not yours. And I got mad at him one day. He's honestly, I mean, I know that I'm all like, you know, I love animals and all this other stuff, but. He had run so many, he had killed fish, he had run fish out of the tank, and I was, I almost just threw him outside. But I didn't. I went and put him and his little girlfriend in a tank of their own, and just started spreading my tanks out. So now instead of having one tank with all my fish in it, I had three tanks with the fish spread among them. Um, the funny thing is, is that the original fish that got moved out because he was being bullied is now considerably larger than either of the other fish. And there's a part, a little tiny part of me that's not very nice that wants to put them all together and just see what happens. But my husband won't let me do that. So I have one fish in a 30 gallon tank, which is manageable. It's not terrible, but I have a 20 gallon tank and I have the other two parrot fish in there and it's, it's just not nearly big enough. They're not, they don't have room to swim. They're not comfortable. Um, and as much as I don't like them, this, the theme in this house is the, the animals kind of get, you know, bigger, bigger and better. Like we've got birds, but we've had this massive bird cage for them. We've got Carter, the gecko who originally came in about a 15 gallon, I think roughly 15 gallon aquarium and, uh, with a, with a habitat top on it. And now he has a three foot tall terrarium with a humidifier and, I mean, all kinds of things. And so, so we kind of always go, and the, the hamster, you're going to see soon, the hamster's new digs. Um, she's got a new home here. So we kind of go a little nuts when it comes to what we do for the animals and such. And so I just need to get a bigger tank. Gonna need a bigger tank. And uh, so got thinking about that. Probably going to get a 40. Honestly, that's probably what they need. Probably just need to get a separate stand for it too, but oh man. It's just it's crazy. It just never ends, man. It just never ends. Constantly going. But anyway. Oh, Mercury's still hanging out with me down here. He likes it when I come up here. And hang out with them. <clears throat> Most people would say, actually everybody but Mark and myself would say that this cat is also a bully. That this cat is not very nice. And that this cat bites everybody. And to that, we both say, uh uh. Nah, the cat's been he loves he loves the people he loves. He loves me. He loves his daddy. Um, he loves his food bowl. And he loves the chair in the bedroom, and he loves the bed, and he loves his window seat so that he can look out over the park and watch the birds, and he loves to sleep. So he loves all those things. 
he's pretty awesome. He's got a ton of personality. And uh, it took a long time. He was definitely one of those that you have to earn his love. It's not a... It's it's not an automatic, you know, like a Zuzu. Zuzu meets you. She says, I, admit, I have just met you, but I love you. Whoa, easy there, hamster. Oh, you're drinking. She's a violent drinker. I got bit by her sister again today. What was I doing? I was like, she was running all over the place, and I was like, oh, here, I'll give her like a little seed because we're trying to hand feed her to get her used to us more and more. And I went to do the seed, and right before she came to me, I dropped the seed out of my fingers, and then she came over and, like, and got me. <laughs> it scared me. So, didn't bite me terribly, though. I mean, I think that's an improvement. Didn't draw blood this time, so I like that. I like that. That is good. Ah. <sighs> go back to work in the morning just to get some get some work done before Monday. I gotta get some stuff done. I got I got I really need to make a list. I have so many things spread across so many things to do that I need a list. That would be good. Get some more thread, get some more flowers, get some more flowers, get some more thread. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Got some pizza today. Oh, we ran over and dropped off all of our Comcast stuff. And um, so we're downgrading our cable from, we're kind of upgrading the internet, downgrading the TV. And so in the end, it's what matters is that we're saving a lot of money cutting our bill by over half and which is great because we really don't watch a lot of TV. I mean Mark just tends to watch movies and I watch YouTube and sports is coming up. Sports season is getting ready to start. Football and um uh and the football and then the hockey. So we're gonna do all that and we have a good time. Oh man that is really fogged up. But yeah, I really ought to. Like, I should take Carter for the terrarium. Take Carter, put him in the front, put him on one of the branches in the front, and then just start a slow, a slow fill with the um, humidifier. You know what's interesting is that the humidif the the hum yeah the fog the humidified air is only going as high as where it's being pushed out, like where the hose comes in. Like the fog is only going up to the hose. I'll have to do a video on this, but first I'll have to actually clean the clean the glass. It hasn't been cleaned in a little bit, and I don't know. I think he's doing this. I don't think this is me doing this, but I think he's been throwing his food around inside of his terrarium, and because of that, um, there's some on the wall. <laughs> there's some on the clear glass on the walls and stuff for him. Um, he gets frustrated if I don't always have fresh food out for him, but here's the problem with that. He only eats a couple times a week, and he doesn't inform me on what nights that he plans on eating. So I may put food out for him. Let's see, I'm gonna come over here. I may put food out for him on a Monday, but he may decide that it's Wednesday that he wants to eat, and therefore he goes to the food on Wednesday. Well, it's already dried out, and because of that, he will literally throw the food bowl across the terrarium. It's a very tiny food bowl. It's a, in a little plastic container thing. And so, and I know I'm like, oh, he's hungry, I'll feed him. But he's kind of a pistol that way. Now what I should do is I need to get him more, some more um, crickets. Because I'd gone without crickets for a while because I wasn't really sure if he was ever really eating them or if they just kind of died. I'd find dead ones in the terrarium. So, but I think it's time to try again and just see if he does eat them. Because that would be better. Put three or four crickets, little crickets in there, let them hang out, and then he can kind of eat those whenever he's hungry and I don't have the other food out for him. But he really just doesn't need much in the way of 
you know, a couple good licks of the replacement powder mix and he's good to go for like three or four days. Ah, well. Ah, well. Oh, wait, I forgot. So we went out and we stopped and we dropped this stuff off for um, uh, um, Comcast. So our, our internet and our TV stuff in the jigs. So um, we bought a new... All right, for those of you who don't live in the States, this is what the we do for, like, say, internet and TV. So there are these big conglomerates that basically... There's very few choices in terms of what you can use, um, in ter you know, internet and TV and whatnot. Um, Comcast has probably the fastest. If you disagree with me, throw it down below because I'd love to know who's faster. The fastest possible internet that's out there. And I use enough video and just stuff that I do between myself and, and my husband that we need pretty fast internet. So... We, we lean towards, I dropped my needle. So we lean towards that. Now they bundle it, meaning that they also say, well, you can have phone service with us and you can have TV service with us along with your internet. And if you get, the more you get, uh, the more you save, but it also is the more you pay. And so even though you are you know, you may be paying less for the services. You then you, uh, you you might pay more for the services individually. When you bundle them, you save a lot of money. And I'm not saying that's not true, but I'm just saying that we don't really need to get our phones through. We actually do the Google Phone stuff. Um, I really like uh, the service, and I like the. Wow, why why does it seem like it's gotten dark? because I think it's gotten dark. Um, here, let me change the light a little bit here. Here we go, a little bit, a little bit here. There we go. Um, so we, uh, what was talking about? Um, man, I really can't do two things at the same time, stitch and talk, or at least have an intelligent discussion. Uh, so anyway, so theoretically you save money, but they want to give you like as much stuff as they can. They want to lock you in for a long time to a contract that makes it difficult for you to get out, for you to find the best price for the best service, blah, blah, blah. So it's been three years since we've had this program. So it's like time that we can, that we can change our, our plan. So we downgraded. So we eliminated the vast majority of our TV um, to pay for it because it was going to cost a lot more money. But we did upgrade our internet. So what we had to do is we had to return all of our equipment because we had multiple TVs hooked up, even though we never used them. And um, we just had all this stuff that we had gotten when we first got married that we thought, oh, of course, let's go watch TV here. You know, like, and we never did. So, um, so we were returning all the equipment. And uh, the thing is, I got our own... Ordered in a new modem, modem slash router, and I spent, it probably took me about an hour and a half on Thursday to get it set up. I had a little bit of a mild panic attack when I couldn't get the internet to actually restart. Um, the cool thing was I didn't have to talk to anybody on the phone because I got to say, I talk to a lot of people on the phone all the time, and if I can avoid it, when I'm at home, I, I try. I really try, except for family. Um, family's cool. Everybody else, please just communicate with me via text kind of thing. And um, so I actually was able to, to type, to text to this um, tech support guy about what was going on, how I was having problems, and I couldn't get it hooked up, and he had to activate my service anyway. He had to okay this modem um, on their side so that my internet or my paid for internet could run through this new modem that I bought. So it took a while. And in the end, I think what I realized was even though I didn't have it hooked up, the old modem was actually still powered on. And I think because of that, there was still like a residual Wi-Fi signal or something that was going on. 
so because once I unplugged that the power from it, everything started working. So that was kind of a silly mistake, but anyway, got that going. Wait, let me double check where this about halfway down. We got a little ways to go. So I got down there. Anyway, so we, we um so I finally got working and so we ended up taking in all of our equipment and anytime you go into these stores, I mean you're always waiting for so long. And we walked in and we were just trying to drop our stuff off, but we also thought, you know what, we probably ought to pick up the little we probably had like a little TV cable box that we were supposed to get because we got like a basic just a basic TV service, like 12 channels or something, like local channels or something, and PBS. Um, and so so we were kind of, walked around the store a little bit, sat down, kind of sat there, and was like, what are we sitting here for? Are we sitting here just to get this little box? And so we discussed, like, the plans for the TV, how we're likely to do sling. We're not really going to be turning on the TV and using the TV per se. And so we just, we ended up getting up and going back to the customer service guy and be like, we can't, you know, I'll tell you what, we don't need to see an agent. We've got, we don't need any equipment at home. We don't need the cable box. Can we just go? And uh, they're like, uh, sure, you can just go if you want to. And, uh, so that probably saved us at least an hour. And then we went and stopped off and picked up a pizza. Because we needed a real pizza today. We've been eating cauliflower pizza, and while it has been good, we kind of missed a real good pizza. So that was late lunch, early dinner. And... And then I just goofed around a little bit. I was so tired when I finally got home today. Oh, I only have one. I'm going to tie this off. I only have one. Uh, I'll cut it. Cut it shorter to make it work better. <laughs> um, but I just felt so bad by the time I got home today. I was so just not so tired. It's the end of the week and... I still need to get up early tomorrow and go back over to work and there's just there's just a lot to do right now and um so oh that reminds me i gotta pick up a couple boxes here today take with me tomorrow so don't forget those boot all right i think we're getting no one two no we still got a little bit more to do here on this um anyways Got going this week. I don't think we have anything truly special this week. Got to do some videos, which are fun. They're different. Um, I did not walk Thursday or Friday. That was very bad. And I think I also didn't walk on Wednesday. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it was Thursday and Friday. But I was just, I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I'm too tired. I'm going home. I'm going to bed at 8.30. I don't care. And I did. Sleeping a fair bit. Trying to trying to meditate. Man, meditation is hard. It's so hard. I would say it's easily one of the hardest things that I have ever done in my life. And I'm not talking about it from like a physical perspective or um I don't know, just, you know, it's basically, am I able to do it? And theoretically, I should be absolutely able to do it, but I am really struggling because I'm having a hard time focusing. I definitely need a need guided meditation. I've been doing that. I've been using the, uh, like, some apps, and then, I, and then you guys suggested YouTube, and so I've been following a couple different channels, trying to get some good, get some good, um... Um, programs going and I just my brain and that's the whole point of doing meditation because you need to settle your brain down so you can have good mental health and you can sleep good and you can be focused and recharged and motivated 
There we go, finally. So, so when working on it, there was a couple nights there in a row that I did not do it because I literally got into bed so tired and I'm like laying in bed going, huh, didn't, mo didn't meditate. And I could have, I could have meditated right there, but um, you can, you know, there's peaceful meditation for better sleep that you can do while you're laying in bed. Um, but, and that's not bad. It's just, I have to use my headphones to, to achieve complete focus because otherwise I hear things and I'm just, I'm all over the place. Man, I got... All right, I gotta trim this one nail, but I'm gonna hold, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I had a fingernail that had a little bit of a, of a cut to it or something, so I had to trim it back a little bit because it was starting to get caught on the floss. Caught on the floss. Yeehaw. But, anyway. So I've got to do, I'll probably do like an hour's worth of work tomorrow. An hour on a Sunday can prevent two hours on a Monday. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but that sure seems to be true. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But I gotta get back into my walk-in. It's still been mosquito. I, I have like, I think at least a half a dozen mosquito bites on me. And I know that many of you, many of you are like, I've got five dozen mosquito bites. Because it's just that time of the year. Um, we don't get a lot of those where I'm at in Colorado. We really don't. And um, so, but this year it's been kind of a weird year because it's been raining so much. Did it again. All right, I know what you guys are going to say. You're getting tangles. You gotta untangle your stuff. And I will. Hold on. Hold on. Right. We got a lot of drip, so we let it untangle. Hope that works. Alright. So as part of the dramatic um, internet revival change a um, hold on, as I start, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, um, where is that spot? One, two, three, four, five, okay, so it is, I'm going to go ahead because I have one spot that I need to miss. Although I'm not sure if in the ultimate scheme of things we'd actually be able to see it. But I'm going to go ahead and put it into this so that when I come back, I, it'll be easier for me to remind myself. So I'm just going to do it again. I'm going to take this all the way down. All the way down. I should be able to get this all edited together. Upload it overnight, put it out first thing in the morning, and then maybe I'll put out my floss organization. It's not a big, it's not a big thing. And there's certainly parts of it that you guys are going to be able to inform other people of, well, you forgot about this thing that you could do. And that'll be good. So people can see all that. That will be good. Man, Carter's gonna be swimming, swimming away one day. Yeah, I need to set up my camera so you guys could just watch that. That would be fun. Well, not fun. About as much fun as that aquarium video was the other day. I made like 30 minutes of just gentle music, watching the fish swim around, and probably everybody who understands aquariums going, that aquarium is way too small for those fish. You're right. It is, and we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, man. The back says, no. Oh, 
bed. Lots of yawning. Lots of yawning. All right. There's just a lot of stitching on this part of this piece before we get to anything that looks like anything. So, we just keep on plugging. Keep on plugging. My favorite nickname for Mercury is the Mercantile Exchange. Don't ask me why. I just call him Merc Merc all the time, and that just popped out. Probably a little too much of Little House on the Prairie when I was a kid. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> What do we got? Like two weeks, I think, until my fantasy football draft year, I don't know, 10, 11, whatever it is that will be into our league. We don't play for money. We just play for fun. Play for the glory. Last year, I went undefeated throughout the regular season, pounding my opponents mercilessly, just stomping them in the dirt every single week except the week of the championship when I got beat because my team decided to not play. So that was unfortunate. Kind of felt like it was going to happen because that is how fantasy football goes. Oh, well. But anyway, what are you going to do? There are, there's another year coming, so. But I'm not nearly as excited about football this year as I have been in the past. I think uh, I'm more excited about hockey. Definitely more excited about hockey package and watching that, keeping up with that. That would be... It's just, it, it, there's so much, I mean, I, the foot, the game of football I enjoy, but there's some things that I don't enjoy when it comes to the way some people act in football, the way they kind of make it all about them, and I'm talking from players to coaches to owners, I mean, I'm talking about the up and down the league. You know, it's a it's a me first league. It's a look at me kind of league. That's why, as I've gotten older, I've gravitated more towards hockey because it's you know it's definitely the the ethos is different. It is different. Nope. One of the birds is mad at the other bird. I'm gonna tie this one off here. Stretch. Let's flash. Flash. Good. Oi. Thought about starting that second book of the Robert Jordan I uh, Wheel of Time series. Thought about it. Still haven't done it. Still haven't done it. So we are just kind of sitting in place for now, working on other things. 
a little bit of a listening rut. It happens because I get so obsessed about stuff. I'll get like, just like I did with that book. It's like 30 hours and four days or five days or whatever it was that I listened to. And, and then I burn myself out and then I got to do something different for a while. And then it's a while before I come back because I just do too much. It's the same way with the stitching. It's the same way with everything. Moderation would be an important lesson to learn for me. It would be. <sighs> Maybe that's where the meditation can help calm my brain down. I'll tell you what it has done with the meditation is it gets me to sleep faster on nights where, it, where the meditation goes okay, where I feel like I've achieved a level of clear-headedness clear or just empty-mindedness. How about that? And I was able to, uh, like, I'm like, I don't need to hop on the phone. A lot of times I hop on the phone just to distract myself from my thoughts. So, that is a self-realization. Realization. Oh, it's a rumble. It's a rumble in the jungle. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, they sound like they're pit pattern all over the place. Ha! Ah, but anyway, so yeah, football, eh, hockey, yep. Yep, 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 yep. And that's about all I have time for. I'm otherwise going to be way too busy this fall to do anything else. And I don't think I'm really going to be able, I don't think I really want to watch Red Zone this year, believe it or not. I think I'm just going to maybe catch some highlights, maybe listen to some games, watch the local ones. I don't know. I'm just not terribly like, oh my god. I mean, maybe it'll change once the games start. But, yeah, I'm just too busy right now. I got stitching to do, man. Oh, anyway, so I was, I was kind of getting into it. So when we did the whole internet switcherooski thing, um, we had to move, we moved some different things around downstairs in the living room where we all kind of sit, the dogs all hang out, we hang out with our computers and stuff. Um, put the TV up on the mantel, moved the table out of the way, cleared some stuff up. It is like wide open now. Um, it's really nice. It's, uh, I think we should, I, sh I should be able to keep things a bit more organized, especially when it comes to like wiring charging cables because it's like I have a different charging cable for like every possible thing unfortunately I should look in I used to have one of those like universal not universal but like multi-tool kind of charger things where it was like it had like all these different attachments to it that you could plug different phones or different other pieces of equipment to like charge I don't know what I did with that I think I may end up with another piece of pizza tonight, but I, I really shouldn't. I haven't had any sunflower seeds in a while. I should pull those out and munch on those for a bit. I met a dog today that I believe was crazier than Zuzu, and that is saying something. This cute little, well, it was a golden retriever, but it was a cute rescue dog that he just didn't know how to greet new people. He was so excited to greet new people that he, he, he wants to bring them in and then he wants to jump at them and express his love. But the problem is, is that when he does those two things together, he ends up headbutting you. And I very rarely get headbutted because usually I can anticipate what a dog is about to do, but he just sort of caught me off guard and he busted his head into my lip. Now I actually haven't looked at the, my lip to see if it's swollen. It doesn't feel like it's swollen now, but when it happened, I thought for sure that he had split it and uh, that I was going to have issues, but it didn't bleed, thank goodness. But he's a happy boy. He's so happy to have a family that loves him, and that is awesome. 
But yeah, Zuzu's, Zuzu's crazy, Zuzu's not that crazy. So that's a good thing. I think we'll probably take her with us tomorrow when we go to the work. Stop at the dog park on the way home, maybe. Take a video or something. We shall see. We shall see. I need to pull out, I want to pull out the honeybee portrait. Um, of course, I need to get back on the pop tray shop. I'm at that point where I'm doing like all that confetti stitching. And I just, I'm like, oh, God, it's so annoying. I don't want to do it. And so, um, not that it's, not that it's truly annoying. It's just, it's, it takes a lot of work to get that part done. So, but I need to get that done so I can finish the page. What are you doing? It sounds like the birds are like cracking their knuckles or something over there. Probably cracking some nuts or maybe they're bopping each other on the head. That's a possibility. look like I really didn't get anything done on this stitching it uh, won't it it's gonna look like yeah but it's because we filled in so, I mean honestly it's gonna be like almost 200 stitches when we're done with this that's a lot of stitching in an hour it's just, there's so much more stitching to do that it gets kind of crazy This far and my back is only starting to act up, so that's a good thing. It means I'm getting stronger. Getting strong Chirp, 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 chirp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Ah. Come here. All right, come on. Ah, it's being difficult. There we go. Alrighty. We were watching a video today and it was some kind of like, it wasn't running of the bulls. It looked like it was in Asia, like either 
India or maybe Bangladesh or something like that. And it was like a herd of cattle or something coming down the streets. Now, it wasn't like the running of the bulls. This literally looked like it was a marketplace and somebody made a wrong turn and drove these cows down the wrong direction. And you see people scattering like to the sides and whatnot. There was this one dude who was running down away, you know, down the street and he's running and he's trying to get out of the way, but there's somebody over here and he can't really get out of the way. There's like a bicycle or something. And this cow comes right up behind him and I'm thinking, it's just going to bowl him right over. I mean, it's just going to plaster him to the ground. It might even kill him. And instead of that, the bull jumps probably like almost six feet over the guy, like just up and over the dude. Um, unbelievable. Amazing display of athleticism by that cow. Amazing display. Ooh, speaking of which, also watched a thing about pole vaulting today. We have a, we have a, a, a couple of friends, basically, that have a daughter who started pole vaulting. I think I've mentioned this a few times. And it's interesting to see them post her videos periodically just to see her progress. Um, like, just literally starting with learning how to run, learning how to put the pole down. Now she's, she's going over six feet, which is awesome. Um, and I just think it's amazing just to get your feet up, up that high, and then you go up and over. That's just crazy. But there was a super slow motion, like ridiculously slow motion of this guy going up over, um, this, uh, I mean, it was probably like 21, 22. I think the world record right now, isn't it like 21 feet or something like that? Something ridiculous. Um, but what was crazy is... Like, he obviously uses his momentum on the run to propel him forward, and then he uses the bend of the pole, it's, the pole itself to, like, lift himself up, and then the contortions. I mean, he's literally, like, by the time that he his hand leaves the, the pole, you still can't even see the actual bar that he's going to go over. Like, he still hasn't even, he's left, like, he goes, he goes straight up, he lets go of the pole, and he goes up, and then even before he starts to do his curve, like, you can't see, like, the bar's way up here, like, it's way up here, and he lets go of the pole here, and he's still going up, and then he somehow does this thing where he does a twist so that he can then, like, kind of go, he goes over it facing the pole, so he can kind of pull himself back as he goes over. It's unbelievable. Like just the physics and the core strength and the guts. And the guts. I would never do that. I do not like heights. The birds would do it. That's what they're telling me right now. We do it, chicken. Call me a chicken, parakeets. Anyway, this will probably be my last strand because the back is beginning to act up. It's saying, no, don't do it. Oh, dudes. Tired. Let's speed. Let's speed stitch here. Yeah, I think I need a piece of pizza. I think I think that's calling to me. I think I can hear it I'm saying, "Feed me some more. Feed me some more." I gotta turn off the uh, giant humidifier. I think that would be a good thing. Well, this 
what I just did was the most, like, this is the most dense part of the, of the piece. Well, at least this section. Um, there is other areas to do a lot of stitching on, but not quite as dense as this is. So that's good. Doop, boop, boop, boo. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know why I'm doing a rocky theme. I'm gonna stop. Oh, I'm gonna stop. My back says no more. No more. Oh, goodness. Hey, you know what? While we're sitting here together, just chit chatting, let's take a look real quick at this Brooklyn Bridge piece. It uses only 10 colors. The question is will it come out well enough? Will it? Will it? Will it? Where is the, where's the color list? Mm. Is this it? This is it. No, nope. is it? Really? No. I know it's not because it doesn't have the color scheme thing. So that's got to be here somewhere. Ding, ding, ding. Well, this would be. It's got to be here somewhere. It's got to be here on the last page. I mean, last page. Yay, there it is. Phew. I'm going to have to iron these pages. Alrighty then, look at that. So, pretty basic. I already have all these. I mean, this is a lot of what Reaper is done with. Whoops, let me pull it down. Reaper uses every single one of these. Well, except for maybe not 3865, but I have a fair bit of those. So, yeah, 14 count is 13 by 20. Yeah, I don't want to start it just yet, primarily because there's so many others that need to happen before this one. I need to put this one in a nice, safe place. And maybe it can kind of get ironed out a little bit. It's it's seen better days. I've seen better days. All right, um, that's it for now. I'm gonna go eat my piece of pizza and start uploading this video. And then I need to do a voiceover for the floss organization thing. So I'll probably put both out tomorrow. I need to put both out tomorrow. Or Hmm, maybe I'll put the floss organization on Monday and then put like a vlog out on Tuesday. Ah, oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, thanks for stitching with me. Hope you made some good progress. And I will see you this coming week. Oh, I didn't tell you what I've been working on. Hold on. Um, I worked on Rainy Wilder Place, Reaper, and now Ronnie Rowe. And I think I also worked on Over Map 2. Did I? Or that was last week. I think that was last week. So I need to pull that out and get some more done on it. And I think we're good. All right. Take care, guys. I'll see you later.